back at like when you handle a situation you're like well, yeah yes i could have handled things way better okay yeah i tried to be there as much as possible but also just tried to like not talk about and distract him you know what i mean Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a journey through the wild world of Vanderpump Rules? Get ready to hold on tight because this season's reunion is going to be a real roller coaster. From hookups to heart to hearts, this reunion has it all. With Tom Sandoval and Raquel Lewis finally facing the music, Ariana Maddox crying, and Andy Cohen having to physically restrain two cast members, this reunion is not one to miss. And here on Celebrity Pop, we don't hold back on the juicy details. So hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications because you won't want to miss a single update. Let's dive in and dish on the latest scandals together. Folks, the Scandoval himself, Tom Sandoval, has finally spoken out about his affair with Raquel Levis. And let us tell you, it was emotional. The poor guy is hopeful about his future with Raquel, but he knows that the odds are stacked against them as a couple. Can they make it work? Only time will tell. For those who missed it, their reunion was a real nail-biter. Tom and Raquel were put in the hot seat in front of the co-stars and the legendary Andy Cohen. The two stars were grilled about their secret romance, which, according to sources, lasted seven whole months. During the reunion, Andy Cohen asked Tom and Raquel when the affair started, and they admitted to hooking up during Sandoval's nine-year relationship with now ex-girlfriend Ariana Maddox. Well, that's a real doozy. But they insisted that their dalliance didn't turn into a full-blown relationship until much later. Oh well, that makes it all better, right? Well, let's dive into the details. The affair started when they hooked up during Tom's nine-year relationship with Ariana Maddox. Ariana found out about the betrayal after an explicit video from Raquel popped up on Tom's phone. Yikes, that's not a good look. When approached by a paparazzo on Monday, Sandoval confessed that he regrets his infidelity. Hindsight's always 20-20, man. It's like when you look back at a situation, you think of all the things you should've, would've, could've done to make it better, he said. Sandoval now admits that he could've handled things better and regrets his actions. He's been receiving criticism and backlash from fans and co-stars alike, but he insists that the situation was unexpected and he's been taking the heat for it. Sources close to the Tom Sandoval and the most extras frontman confirm that he and Raquel are friends, but not putting a label on anything at the moment. Wow, that's a real it's complicated situation. But can you really blame them? The cast blasted Sandoval and Levis for hours during the season 10 reunion, which was described as nuclear. I mean, who wouldn't be emotional after that? I know a lot of people are angry, Raquel said during a four-minute chat with a paparazzo outside a nail salon, so I think we're just getting through these next few steps and seeing where it goes. But not everyone is as forgiving as Raquel. When asked about the state of their current relationship, Ariana, for her part, seems uninterested in anything they do and has moved on with their life. When asked about their relationship, she said, at this point, I don't care about anything that either of them does. Well, that's one way to make a statement. Um, it started off as the friendship. Okay and it turned into something more. Despite the fallout, Sandoval and Levis have been seen out and about together, cozying up and enjoying each other's company. Both are trying to make it work. A source close to the couple says that Tom wants to make things right with Raquel, but he knows the odds are against them. Nevertheless, they were even spotted having dinner at the Musso and Frank Grill in Hollywood shortly after their union aired. Talk about bold. The photos obtained by TMZ show them sitting in a large booth, looking relaxed and comfortable in each other's presence and it seems like they're not letting anyone or anything get in the way of their love. Oh, the irony. Their relationship status remains undefined, with Levis stating that they're friends, but not putting a label on anything at the moment. She hopes to make amends with those they've hurt, but admits that she knows a lot of people are angry about the situation. But oh boy, it seems like things got really intense during the Vanderpump Rules reunion. The season 10 reunion was a real showstopper, with the host Andy Cohen having to physically restrain two cast members when the confrontations against Tom Sandoval and Raquel Levis became too intense. Can you believe it? While it wasn't revealed who the two individuals were, sources close to production informed TMZ that it was not someone whom viewers would expect. So we can only wonder who these cast members could be. But one thing's for sure, it wasn't Sandoval, Levis, or Ariana Maddox who were the instigators of the near brawl. According to sources, the reunion was like a ticking time bomb, and it only took two minutes for the temperament on set to become explosive and never let up. Despite the reunion taping lasting for a whopping five hours, the tension on set allegedly escalated within the first two minutes and continued to escalate throughout the entire session. Moreover, the insider further told TMZ not a single person reportedly took Tom Sandoval or Raquel Levis' side during the heated confrontation, including Lisa Vanderpump who had been a longtime friend and confidant of Sandoval's. 
we can't even blame anyone. Are we supporting them? Well, cheating should never be an option. The cast members' animosity towards Sandoval and Levis is hardly surprising, given that their affair had been a major source of drama throughout Season 10 of Vanderpump Rules. The revelation of the affair had led to a major fallout, with many of the cast members expressing their disgust and betrayal towards Sandoval and Levis. A source close to the cast says, the anger towards them is to be expected. Another source confirms that the events that took place during their union were indeed accurate. And let's not forget about the mastermind, Andy Cohen. During the reunion special, Andy Cohen asked the burning question that had been on everyone's minds. When did the affair between Tom Sandoval and Raquel Levis begin? Andy Cohen is one of a kind. He knew everyone will get worked up, and still he chooses to ask that question. That is brave, we must say. The two admitted to hooking up, but apparently it didn't turn into a full-blown relationship until later. Can you imagine the tension in the room when they had to admit to their castmates that they'd been secretly seeing each other behind their backs? But wait, there's more. According to sources close to production, the two also admitted that they're still together. Can you believe it? After all the drama and fallout, they're still together. However, don't get too excited because the source also revealed that their relationship is on an egg timer. That's right, folks. Their relationship is not going to last. The insider dished that their time together is limited, and it's only a matter of time before the romance comes crashing down. I mean, are you really surprised? It's not exactly the foundation of a healthy relationship when it starts with an affair and is kept a secret for so long. It seems like emotions were running high during the reunion of Vanderpump Rules. The Caesar 10 reunion was a real tearjerker, with Ariana Maddox crying at different times throughout filming. But despite her tears, insiders say that Ariana was surprisingly composed and that it was clear she'd been going through a lot of therapy. On the other hand, Tom Sandoval was a different story. The 40-year-old was reportedly destroyed by events of his own making. In fact, things got so intense that the cast had to take a break to relax. It's not surprising, considering the nuclear bomb that went off in the studio earlier. It's clear that the cast members aren't taking the news of the affair lightly, and the toll it's taking on Sandoval is becoming more and more evident. But what happened during the break? Well, it seems like Tom and Raquel took advantage of the downtime and stepped out together, all dressed in black and smoking. Photos of the two lovebirds were snapped, and it seems like they were trying to cool off and relax. It's unclear when the photos were taken, but they definitely add fuel to the fire. However, what's clear is that they share a strong connection, and many insiders have doubts about whether their relationship will last. You know, the egg timer thing we said? It's hard to imagine what must have been going through Tom Sandoval's mind when he found himself sitting on the concrete, surrounded by Bravo's cameras, and having a heart-to-heart -heart with a woman he had an affair with, Raquel Levis. Perhaps he was feeling embarrassed, or maybe he was just tired of keeping secrets. Whatever the reason, Sandoval certainly didn't seem too thrilled about the sudden media attention. But for Maddox, the images and all this never-ending drama must have felt like a dagger to the heart. A source close to the situation told at the time that Ariana was blindsided and heartbroken when she learned about the affair. And not only that, but her best friend had betrayed her by getting involved with her ex-boyfriend. The source also says that Ariana was in disbelief and couldn't believe that her relationship with Tom had come to an end. It was a painful and humiliating experience for Maddox, who'd been with Sandoval for a decade. She'd stood by him through thick and thin, supporting him through his various business ventures and appearances on Vanderpump Rules. But in the end, it was all for naught. So what's next for Tom, Raquel, and Ariana? Well, only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, the drama on Vanderpump Rules is far from over. Tune into Bravo on Wednesdays at 9pm ET to see what happens next, and keep your eyes peeled because you never know what's going to happen on this show. It's like a soap opera, you never know when the next twist is coming.